Welcome back, folks. Now, 9.18 is coming out tomorrow for the North American server, and in a week for EU and the Russian server, and in two weeks for the Asian server. So I want to put together a list of all the economical decisions that you should consider before this patch hits. So what I mean by that is, this patch features a rarity, which is vehicles that are tier shifting. So vehicles like the T-50, the Bulldog, the LTTB, and the tier 8 light tanks all are up tier shifting, up a tier, or whatever you call that. So it would be economical, advantageous, or beneficial for you to take care of some of the expenditures. That's a lot of fancy words in a sentence, but it would be good if you buy some of the stuff right now. So stuff like the modules and the tanks themselves. So I put together a list of what you should do to maximize the credit output from this switch. So let's get started talking about the camo, the emblem, and the inscription all at once. So there was a compensation listed on the test server patch notes for the permanent version of the camo and emblems and inscriptions. So I thought, let's take advantage of this and buy with 50% off from the anniversary event. So I bought a set and with the actual patch notes, there's no compensation listed. So I'm a little bit worried about that. So it doesn't look good, but I recommend you taking a screenshot of the test server patch notes talking about the reimbursement from the emblems and camo, as well as a screenshot of your vehicle, the tier A light tank with all the camo and emblems. So you can complain to the customer support that I want all the refund. Where's my refund? Oh, no, no, rabble, rabble, rabble. So just to have evidence. All right, that's the initial step. But let's take a look at the actual summary. So pertaining only to the up tier shifting vehicles, the T-50, LTTB, the tier 8 light tanks, and the Bulldog. There's no down tier shifting, so don't worry about that. But if you already researched a tier shift light tank, and you plan on keeping it, buy it now. So it's cheaper now because they're all up tier shift. If you plan on selling one, sell it after 9.18. So the T-50 will be shifted from tier 4 to tier 5, and it will cost a lot more-ish. So I recommend you buying a small T-50 for 140,000 credits, and sell it after the patch for 176,000. So it will net you 36,000. Not that much, but small click, two clicks, not that much. It's fine. So if you already researched the T54 lightweight, if you don't have the LTTB, you will have one after the patch added to your garage with a crew of 50%. So free tank. If you already have the LTTB, you will get a refund of 1,200,000. 250,000 or 205,000 can't read. So there's two options to this. If you already have the LTTB in your garage, you can sell the LTTB now for 690,000 credits and one garage slot with uh, 9.18 coming out. Or you can do nothing and you'll get 1.205 million credits. But try to keep the elite modules when you're selling it with the option number one. So what I mean is Basically, you could choose to get a garage slot for about 500,000 credits. So if you want to have the garage slot, choose option number one. If you don't need the garage slot, you need a little bit more credits, choose option number two. So this also applies to the Bulldog. Just not as much credits by 5,000, but small amount. So if you want the garage slot, sell the M41. If you want to get the credits, do nothing. So this only happens if you already have the Bulldog in your garage and you research the tier 8 light tank currently, the LTTB into the T-54 lightweight as well as the T-49. So you have to research those tier 8 light tanks in order for this to work. All right. But if you already research the RU-251, you'll get the HWK-12. Nobody has it. So, yep. If you already researched the AMX-1390, You'll get the batch at 12T with the crew and garage slot. So yada yada. All right. So try to research and buy all the modules for the light tanks you plan on keeping before 9.18.
So these are all up tier shifts. And therefore, all the credits and XP required for all these modules dramatically increased. I'm not kidding you. I checked for all of them. It's insane. So check with tanks.gg to compare the modules just to be sure. But here is a quick screenshot of the difference. So this is the 152 gun launcher for the T-49. Originally, it cost about 80,000, 18,000, 900 XP to unlock. Now it's 52,000. <laughs> Shit. That's more than 100%. That's like 150% more? Holy crap. And the uh, credit cost is 115,000 credits into 230,000 credits. So I highly recommend you, if you have free XP, unlock these modules now, if you can, and buy these modules, if you're planning on keeping the vehicle. But after the shift, it costs a lot more. So this applies to the gun, applies to the elite turret, the radio, the engine, the tracks, all of it. So pretty crazy shifting from a tier 8 to a tier 9. Yeah. So lastly, it's the scheme with the print screen or just in case evidence if they don't want to refund you for all the gold you cost or spent on the emblems and stuff so yeah so basically here's what you should do with this patch before it comes out so screenshot all the stuff yada yada all right buy the t50 if you can so go to your research list if you already played the russian tanks for a long time like i did uh, the T-50 is not much, so go to the T-50, it will cost you 140,000 credits, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So easy money, but if you are crazy enough, some of these guns might cost more, but I'm not that crazy, so you could buy more modules and sell it later for more credits, but that's just uh, <laughs> gratuitous over exaggeration of trying to get a little bit more money so you don't need to do that but afterwards try to research all the modules on tier 8s if you can so for example i bought the t54 lightweight because it was on sale for the anniversary event and now it's being shifted to tier 9 so it will cost even more so basically i bought this vehicle for steel all right but before the patch hits this weapon right here Check it on tanks.gg if it costs the same between different patches. If not, buy this gun now. Same thing applies to the engine, same thing applies to the tracks. The tracks probably cost more. So logically, hell yes, I'll unlock it with free XP. So that's what you should do because it will obviously will cost more after the patch as you saw with the T49 example. So that's what you should do to prepare. but. Basic number crunching to save you more credits and crew XP and less time grinding these vehicles. But that's always pretending that you want to keep these light tanks. So based on your opinion, but whatever. So those are my advice for this patch. So hopefully you guys enjoy this patch. I certainly will. But there you go, folks. The advantage of tier shifts and the beneficial, advantageous economical decisions fancy words that you should consider before this patch hits. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Uh,